Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast. Listeners, gamers, geeks, grown-ups, and internet, welcome back to Console Drones Gamer Talk Podcast, dropping video gaming awkwardness right out of northern Arizona, somewhere in Washington, from the inside of John's basement. This is season number two, episode 117. This is a weekly podcast where we talk about everything and anything, but mainly video games, and I'm your host, Chris, and today the full crew is here and in video. So let's start the damn show. It's time for What You Drinking and What Have You Been Playing. Let's start off this week with John. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? This week, I'm drinking water out of my Collector Seahawks cup. Hey, I have a Cardinal one too. I just put them in the cabinet, and I didn't know you like to drink out like trash to, in both of those I like cases. I like to pee in it. So anyway, <laughs> um, this week I've been playing a ton of Overwatch, and I played Far Cry New Dawn for a while with Miguel, and a little bit by myself. And I actually was just playing uh, Crackdown Three. And nice. That is me in a nutshell. Heck yeah, let's move on down to Miguel. Miguel, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? Um, Actually, you're not moving down. You're moving sideways. I'm over here. <laughs> I'm moving to the side. <laughs> that way. Um, I'm drinking water, and I played Far Cry New Dawn and Overwatch. And I can't remember, did I say last podcast that I finished God of War again? You said you. I don't think you said you finished it. I think yeah, you started started finished it. it. I, I, I finished God of War again, except for the Valkyries. I got seven of the eight Valkyries, and then the last one is on um, Muspelheim. And yeah, fuck that, because you got to do like the, all the trials to even get to her. And the trial that I'm stuck on is kill like twenty enemies without taking damage, and it's stupid. Yeah. I never, so I tried to kill the Valkyries when I was not a high enough level. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I have to wait till after I beat the game and then level up even well, more. Even then, it's still difficult, but yeah, I mean, I was I able to do it. From that and so, did it. yeah, the one in Muspelheim, you have to go through all the trials, which is basically the Land of Fire. You had to go through all those trials. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. And then there's another one on the gas planet or the gas realm. I can't remember what it's called. You know how you can like walk through there for a limited time and you can only breathe for a limited time before you start dying? There's a yeah. Valkyrie in there in yeah. the back corner that you have to get to yep. and then fight and then make it out alive. Yep. So that was annoying too. I got that one. It's just the most time one. Okay. And then I quit because I was like, fuck that. Okay. Fair enough. Is that no, pretty much you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on down to Joe. Joe, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? I'm drinking Pacific Drift Pilsner from San Diego. Uh, I've been playing the shit out of Fallout 4. <laughs> like, nonstop. Um, and then what about I, 76? No. Um, not yet. I'm going to wait for them to fix it. Your prediction, prediction still stands, Miguel. Um... <laughs> Um, what so prediction was that? That he's not going to like 76? Ah. No, I like it. Well, I like the, the game. I like Fallout Universe, but it's just I think it's too buggy. It's too buggy. But anyway, I'm um, playing the shit out of Fallout 4, and then I played uh, Crackdown 3 and beat it. And In a day? No, it took me two days. Oh. It took me probably about 10 hours to beat. Solid. Total, 
So it'll take John seven days and Chris <laughs> finish a year, uh, two years. Yeah. <laughs> he won't um, finish. <laughs> played some Rocket League and that's it. That's yeah, pretty much it. Cool, sweet man. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Are, you, are we ready for uh, dates? Is that no, <laughs> Chris? What have you been drinking? Oh, what are you, doing? <laughs> you assholes? <laughs> I am drinking uh, Tito's. Right there, Tito's uh, with some. Uh, it's like an apple berry juice mix. It's pretty good. Does um, that and... Tito's bottle come with its own sweater, or did it you does. put that on there? Really? Can you, you show me that again? Do you mind yeah. in the back? I got mine back there. In oh, the back okay. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, Just cool. wait till he finishes that bottle. He's going to wear that sweater inappropriately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's at the end of the show. So just everybody oh, wait. God. Oh, God. Once again, bye bye, YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this week on my Xbox, um, I played, uh, let's see, I played some Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Um, started playing the missions, got fairly far into that. Um, then I started playing some Apex. Um, and I played uh, DMC Special Edition as well on my Xbox. And then over on my PlayStation VR, I played some Firewall Zero Hour. I'm loving this fucking game. Honestly, I think this is the best VR game made to date right now, in my opinion. Um, and then also I played some Astro Bot. I got down to the very last boss, and I'm going to beat this game probably within about a week or so. Um, all I have to do is beat the last boss, and that's another game on my list. So fuck you, Miguel, and everybody else. <laughs> and uh, everybody else. <laughs> everybody else that's on this pod. Um, and then on my Switch, I time. yeah, I uh, I didn't think I was going to download this, but but on my Switch, I downloaded Tetris 99. Um, and I was just going to give it a try because they said it was a battle royale. And I said at first I didn't like this genre, and... I probably should uh, start playing more of these, or Joe was like, you should play some more a couple weeks ago. So I said, fuck it, I'm going to play some Tetris Battle Royale. I played it, and I'm actually hooked. I like it. It's a really cool game. Fucking Tetris 99 is the shit. Um, and then, uh, No, not right now. I'm playing Apex. Yeah, Tetris 99 is better than Blackout. I'm just kidding. Um, so uh, on my Switch as well... <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> you can say it's better than Fortnite. That's all right. But don't say it's better than Blackout. Come on. <laughs> okay, Tetris 99 is better than Fortnite. Not as good as Blackout. Is that better? Um, and so, let's see. What else did I play on my Switch? I played some Mario Kart, and that is pretty much me this week. But that all man right. in a nutshell. That's okay. me in a nutshell. I remember the game I played. So, uh... I used to play a game on DOS when I was a little kid. It was called Treasure Mountain, and I found it. Uh, it's like a educational game, and uh, I found a way to play it online, so I played it. Brought back some old memories. It was fun. Did you cry a little? No. <sighs> yeah. Cool, man. Sounds fun. All right. So uh, I think it's time for the news. Joe, you ready, buddy? Yeah. This is weekly news, keeping us informed and up to date in the gaming industry. <laughs> All right. This week, our source is BG247. Let's get it going. Um, speaking of VR, Chris, uh, VR title Apex Construct sees a surge in sales after getting mistaken for Apex Legends. <laughs> wow. So, so, oops, yeah. idiots! I said yeah, idiots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Speaking so, of this, is, is is Apex Legends? It was free when we downloaded. it. Is it cost money it's now? Free to play. No, it's, it's still free to play. play. It's still okay. free to play. Yeah. All right. Um, so, but the other one is cost money. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, Chris. Yeah. Chris, I have to ask. Yeah. Did you download that? No, I didn't. No, because you know it's um it actually sold more units in China. So they, the Chinese they thought, a, they thought it was a knockoff, didn't they? Well, yeah, they downloaded it thinking it was Apex Legends, but it's not. 
So, Apex Construct. And that's a, you said that's a VR title? It's a VR game, yeah. Is it like a shooter or what? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's a, uh, it's a 3v3v3 Battle Royale where you pick up your loot. (laughs) It's like Apex Legends. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Just kidding, I don't know. Don't, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm sure. But the game sold more units in China in seven days than for the entirety of 2018. Basically a 4,000% increase in visits to the Steam store page for its demo. Um, yeah. Let's let's go make a game called Apex Legions. <laughs> I love it. Apex Legions. I like and, it. And uh, it can just be like Pong or something, and we'll just put it on Steam. Battle well, Royale thing, Pong. This is what I don't get. So Apex Construct is a single-player action-adventure VR title exclusive to EA Origin on PC, and it's available. It is available on PSVR. Interesting. So it is. It is yeah. an EA game. Yeah. So oh, the Steam page is purely what? They use a bow. I'm watching the yeah uh, little trailer for it. The Steam page is purely for a demo, and despite being priced at twenty four pounds or twenty or thirty dollars US, uh, players in China have been snapping it up. In the case of mistaken identity. So apparently it says apparently people are prepared to buy what they think is Apex Legends for thirty dollars, even though it's a free to play title. Oops. Well, they thought it was the uh, Fortnite, yeah. the Fortnite oh. um, structure where it was thirty because Fortnite costs money for the single player mode or the whatever it was the non battle royale mode. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they're probably like, oh, it's like Fortnite. We've got to pay for it. Yeah. So good job, China. Yeah, through no fault of its own, Fast Travel Games, who developed uh, Apex Construct, is now finding that the game is on the receiving end of a multitude of negative reviews from Chinese people who think they've been scammed. That's fun. So, how, long, <laughs> how long has it been out? March 20th, 2018. Mm, yeah. Yeah, so, good job. Good job, China. That's, not <laughs> your, that's all your yeah, fault. That's the wrong game. That's bl- all your fault. I blame wrong the translator. Game. We, can't, we yeah. can't even blame Chris for this one. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say fuck you to me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I blame Google Translate. I fault. think I think it was an elaborate EA scam because you know EA is money hungry. That they're like, let's release a game called Apex, and then let's release a hit game called Apex, and then we'll sell the other Apex game by Gen- default. Genius. Did you I say like genius? Is that yeah, what you genius. Said? Yes, I said genius. Chris, you don't have to, like, kiss your microphone when you talk into it. Uh, no. What? I don't understand why. Why? Don't I sound better like this? No. It's not working. Your Late time. night with the drones. John! Oh, what? yeah. Oh, yeah. Stop. Oh, I yeah. That. What? I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next uh, article, we're going to continue with the... Mic. Oh, my gosh. Um, we're going to stick with the VR. So this is a rumor, okay? Strictly rumor, VG247 website. Switch VR announcement could be coming this year. So the Nintendo, or Nintendo is finally joining the VR party, according to rumors, and the offering could be released as part of the company's Labo online. God damn it, I knew they were going this route. But- I think all it is is it's going to be like the Google Cardboard. It's, it's just going exactly to be exactly that. VR. It's yeah. exactly like, that. That's fucking. You put that dumb. on your head and you put nope. your switch. Don't say don't, it's dumb. Nope. You're going to buy it. <laughs> yeah, you are going to buy it. Not You're going to buy it for Serena. You are going to buy it. No, I, no. Honestly, you even thought about, about it just now. No, you no. even thought about it. Just a little now. bit. A, yeah. a, a split second. <laughs> I I wouldn't <laughs> mind playing playing the titles in VR. I wouldn't really, honestly, wouldn't mind. If the, if all it is is just a cardboard helmet that you put on or a visor and you slide your switch in it, why not? I mean, the switch isn't too heavy. I mean, Chris is yours is because you got all that shit on it. But you know, Cheeto battery dust. and no, he's got like that. Cheeto does. Cheeto. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all over the place. Oh man. No, but he's got like the protective case and the extra battery and stuff like that. You know, I a little I bit of Cheeto dust. Just a little bit. No. Slightly, like a. <laughs> Half inch thick layer. Are they Sticky puffs buttons? or are they crunchy? <laughs> <laughs> gotta go with they're crunchy. crunchy. They're, they're crunchy, yeah. yeah they're crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, the Nintendo World Report sources have told um, a site that Nintendo plans to make a VR-related announcement, possibly this year. And a small select number of traditional first-party software titles could receive VR support. I honestly would not mind playing Diablo 3 in VR. I think that would be cool. But... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about shoving a switch in front of my face. Like, like, like all the way up here, like in my. It's not going to be you know that I mean? close. There, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to come with probably two, two lenses that's it's, installed. It's in exactly the car. what John's doing. It's the same fucking thing. John, just keep your phone there. You look much yeah. better. You look yeah. way better that way. Yeah, I mean, I've got one of those cardboard things for my phone, and you know, uh, yeah, and it works. It's great. So, I say it's a cheap, it's a cheap alternative. And it gets you straight into the VR world on Nintendo. Breath of the Wild in VR. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, all it would take would be an update to split the screen and adjust it. And that's all That's all VR is. It's just two screens put together that, that alter how, you, how you're, you're, you're viewing the game. So I think it's cheap. It would be, I mean, I would spend Labo's, what, 80 bucks? I'd spend the 80 bucks for a cardboard thing for the switch oh yeah just a rumor but we might see it at e3 we'll keep see. a heads up and plus you still got you know it'd be cool if xbox live and, and play anywhere titles eventually go in that direction you know i think that would be kind of cool cool sweet man skype stupid right. <laughs> what just <laughs> happened? You didn't make a retard face this time. <laughs> Fuck you, John. You're over there now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I know you're still really down there. Okay. I don't um, know what you were pointing at over there. Now we're going on to rumors. Scalebound. Oh, Joe screen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Scalebound actually lives, and it's possibly that it's going to be Nintendo Switch exclusive. So. Oh, so are you saying Nintendo bought the rights for Scalebound? Is that what you're saying? Uh, according to rumors, it's being resurrected by Nintendo and will That's be headed to the Switch. That's fucking awesome. Sweet. Um, Platinum Games' open world action title was going to be an Xbox One exclusive, but it was canceled by Microsoft in 2017. New rumors suggest Nintendo has uh, since picked up and is working with Platinum to bring it back. So the Insider originally reported this information, but it lines up with whispers that BG247 has heard. Um, it's still, the scope is unclear, but Xbox on Xbox One, it was going to be a vast open world with online components. It's not known at this point whether development continued from the cancellation or the project has been rebooted entirely. So this would be kind of cool. And it's still, all of this stuff, like the VR and all this stuff ties in with, you know, the Xbox Live being available eventually possibly on the switch so you know we'll still be able to play with it um ubisoft plans to release three to four triple a titles between april of this year and march of next year assassin's creed well um no new ass creed games are on this way are on on their way so you 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 have to take into consideration Skull and Bones is coming, um, and it, actually Skull and Bones, but the game's not even out, but they're already talking about it having its own series, TV series. So mm. that's kind of cool. Our pirates, our matey. Yeah, Skull and Bones definitely. There's rumors that Watch Dogs Three may be coming. Um, yeah. So you won't, we probably won't see any new Rainbow Six or Four Honor games. Um, Ghost Recon and Splinter Cell, on the other hand, possibly could get a re, uh, or new games. We've been we've been missing Splinter Cell for a while, so we could possibly get Splinter Cell. Um, well, it sucked for a while, so the yeah. last good Splinter Cell was Chaos Theory. Yeah, that was a long time ago. What was that? Like four years ago? Five years ago? What? Yeah, that was Chaos Theory? Yeah, it was that later. Chaos or what? Theory was like 2012. Well, or no, 2000, Jesus. 2002. Sorry. No, they had the one that came out. Um, Con they had Conviction, for... and then they had, um, they had another one. The one but... you reviewed. Yeah, but yeah, I'm we reviewed it. Yeah. They haven't had a good Black one since. Blacklist. 
Yeah, Blacklist wasn't good either. Conviction yeah. and Blacklist weren't good. It was last one that I remember that was good was Chaos Theory, and that was like PlayStation Two. So two thousand two, Jesus, yeah, they're due for a good one then. Yeah. Um. So mm-hmm. there won't be any new Ghost Re- uh, or a, there's a possibility for a new Ghost Recon. They've been uh, keeping up. Wildlands has been going on with the multiplayer online, but um, yeah, we we we'll just have to wait and see what what they're what they're talking about. We know for sure Skull and Bones, and you know, rumor has it Watch Dogs Three, but we'll see. Um, I'm glad John got a wrap it up box on you. Got a what? Yeah, you know, uh, Key and Peele, wrap it up, wrap it up. He's over there. Well, yeah, he said he was going to do that during the news. He was going to wrap it up. But that was a Chappelle show. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Um, But yeah, he forgets who's who's editing the video. (laughs) Ooh. Anyway. Don't fuck with the editor. (laughs) Tell me here, John. John. I don't forget. After last Uh, night's video, anything. eh. Eh, It's not bad. It's not bad. No, it's not just good. A, just a cock in your mouth. That's all. Oh, okay. That's it. Yeah, did a Bye lot of bad YouTube. Last Bye YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> a feathery cock. Okay. Chicken. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. God of War was the big winner at 2019 Dice Awards. So the Academy of Interactive Arts and Sciences held the 22nd Dice Awards last, or was when was it? Last week, and um, God of War walked off with the big winner. So led the group with twelve nominations, and won nine of those twelve. Uh, one was Game of the Weir, Game of the Weir, Game of the Queer. I mean, Game of the Year, <laughs> <laughs> beating out in, uh, beating out into the breach. Marvel Spider Man, Red Dead Redemption Two, and Return of the Oberdin. So last year, uh, Breath of the Wild won Game of the Year. Um, Celeste was nominated in multiple categories and won two best indie game and best action game. I still don't understand. Anyway, um, so outstanding achievement in animation went to Spider Man. Congratulations. Uh, outstanding achievement in art direction, God of War. Uh, outstanding achievement in character, Atreus in God of War. Outstanding achievement in oh, original shit. music, <laughs> uh, outstanding achievement in original music, Red God Dead. Of War. Thank you. Know. Thank you. Dice Awards knows. That's the achievement in sound design goes to God Red of Dead. War. Nope. Oh. <laughs> see that um, one? I, sound design, I can see Red Dead, but I mean, seriously. Come on. Come, outstanding come on. achievement in story goes to, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, God of War. God, uh, outstanding technical achievement goes to John. God of War. Red Dead 2. <laughs> Oh man! Adventure Witcher. game of the year. Adventure game of the year goes to God of War. Family game of the year. Unravel two Damn. beat out Astro Bot, uh, Lego DC Super Villains, and Starlink. Fighting game of the year goes to Mortal Kombat eleven. Dragon Ball Z. Super Smash Dragon Brothers. Ball. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Super Smash Brothers. I hate that game. Anyway, racing game of the year. Forza. Forza. Horizon Four. Roll RPG. Anybody? God of War? I don't know. Is that an RPG? I'm going to go ahead. No. Uh, I don't know then. Monster Hunter. I oh, that's know. the one uh, I guessed. Yes. Yeah, that's the one you guessed. Yeah, <laughs> one again. Um, Sports Game of the Year. Who cares? Madden. Madden. Or NBA 2K. Okay. Mario Tennis Aces. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. Are you serious? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I thought All these right, guys yeah. knew what they were talking about. <laughs> not anymore, right? <laughs> so I mean, I mean, there's not much competition. It's like Madden and 2K. So yeah, tennis yeah. wins. So it's it's weird because they're not calling this virtual reality. This these portions they're calling it immersive reality. So anyway, the next one's are immersive reality technical achievement goes to Tonandi. I don't even know what that is. Um, immersive reality game of the year goes to Chris Firewall Zero Hour Beat Saber. Son of a bitch! Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So Fuck. Firewall wasn't even nominated. It this was horseshit. Uh, I'm done with the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Beat Bye, Saber, Astro Bot, 
um, Moss, Sprint Vector, and Transference. Huh, were must her. not be that great of a game. Yeah. Outstanding Fuck Achievement you, for Indie yeah. Game is Celeste. Portable Game of the Year is Florence. Online Game of the Year, Fortnite. I think you mispronounced Game of the Queer for Fortnite. Oh, I'm sorry. Game of the Queer, Fortnite. Uh, outstanding was... Achievement in Game Design, God of War, and Outstanding Achievement in Game Direction, God of War. So kudos to God of War. Miguel, I, they don't televise the Dice Awards, but I think that's your award show. You better edit that, Joe. Yeah, double fists. That's yeah, too they were they were going up and down, not <laughs> any other direction. So, <laughs> was that that's like the wreck it, Ralph? I'm gonna wreck it. I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> All right, last article. Um, this one could actually possibly be a main topic. I don't know. There was an interview. Sean Layden, the head of Sony's Worldwide Studios, chimed in about the perspective about um, ongoing with 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 Sony and what the direction that PlayStation is going in, and. The main article was about cross-platform. Um, it was with Game Informer, and um, he goes on to say the whole concept of cross-play or the movement behind it, whether you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, sorry, really got big in our rearview mirror super fast, so they're not even paying attention to it. There's something back there, and things are closer than they appear, and there it was, says Layden. So the executive then reiterated Sony's initial concerns about opening up its ecosystem and communities to other platforms. This is in big part because Sony's belief that PlayStation has the biggest player base for most games. What a douche. I know. He goes on to say, but I think we learned from the feedback from our fans that it was important, and it wasn't just important to a vocal minority. Though if you look at it at any at if you look at any of the numbers of the actual cross-play population. Uh, the Venn diagram isn't too big. Even the fans who weren't personally going to participate in cross-play activity across different hardware pieces <clears throat> just felt that it was uh, kind of tone-deaf of PlayStation, he added. So, though Sony did eventually enable the feature for Fortnite as part of the beta, and later then for Rocket League, the general perception among fans is that Sony is picking and choosing which games um, and developers they want to they want to turn on that feature for. And according to Layden, he says it's not true. When you ask the developers, you ask Psyonix, they said, we were ready. Sony said no. So Layden says, people keep saying, why doesn't Sony allow more people to have it? We're open for business on this one. All it takes is for publishers and developers who wish to permit uh, to permission it. As ever, just work with your PlayStation account manager, and they will walk you through the steps that we've learned through our partnership with Epic on how this works. Um, I don't believe right now there is any gating factor on that. I think they're open to making proposals because Fortnite thing worked pretty well. Following the publication of the interview, sorry, this guy makes me want to drink. Oh, it's a bunch of bullshit, so... Um, yeah. Following the publication of the interview, the CEO of Chucklefish, who recently published a war groove, shared their experience of asking Sony to enable the feature for their game. For reference, war groove launched with cross-platform support for Xbox, PC, and the Switch. Uh, they say, we made many requests for cross-play, both through our account manager and directly with higher-ups, all the way up until the release month. We were told in no uncertain terms that it was not going to happen. From our side, we literally toggle a switch and have it working. Of course, policy work might be more complicated for Sony. Just wanted to provide some balance on the issue and say that there that it certainly isn't a question of developers having no con, um, having not contacted their account managers and having dropped the ball. We were told no. So. The article is pretty in-depth. Um, you can go to GameInformer.com, check it out. I read the whole thing, and I just I just don't know. At this point, my opinion with PlayStation is that in the future, they're going to move strictly to first-party single-player titles, and they're just going to leave all their multiplayer for third-party titles like Call of Duty, Fortnite, whatever. So that's all I got for the news. Sweet. All right, let's move on down to the dates. Miguel, are you ready, buddy? Mm hmm. 
Monix Dates, keeping us on track with what video games are coming out soon. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to jump ahead. I'm going to go backwards today. 226, we have Remy Lore, Lost Girl in the Lands of Lore uh, on the Switch and the PlayStation. Stellaris Console Edition on PlayStation and Xbox. Dirt Rally 2.0 on PlayStation and Xbox. And then 222. Anybody got a guess? Anthem. Anthem! Anthem. You getting that, Miguel? I said I was, so I guess. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I actually need to go get on my Xbox and disregard how much money I don't have in but uh, you will have it. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. And if I don't purchase, if I don't pay for it tonight, it will be paid for tomorrow. And I'm off on Friday, so uh, hey, Joe, Snowpocalypse, are we playing Anthem all day Friday? Is that? I'm playing tomorrow. Well, tomorrow night, and then all day I'm Friday. Joking. No, I'm. Uh, yeah. Don't act like you're working on Friday. Exactly. I'm not Sorry, even John, I may not even be at work either. So, uh, snowpocalypse. I mean, they leave yeah. it up to your discretion. That's true. Well, J- John, just so you know, we're having a snowpocalypse. So, yes, we are. See, snowpocalypse sounds like a great nickname or a great name for something. Around here, they keep calling it snowmageddon. I'm like, that sounds sure, dumb. I'm sure we've had snowmageddon before. We've what, had snowmageddon, yeah. What defines a snowmageddon for snowmish? It hasn't snowed in six days, but I mean, it's it, still snow in my front yard. That's snowmageddon. That's just cold <laughs> as a witch's tit. That's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're I supposed don't know. to get like two feet of snow. Yeah, maybe? but it yeah. snows regularly in Flagstaff. No, yes? it's, no, 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 every no, year. Yeah. It snows every year. year. It snows every, every year, year, right? It does not yeah. snow every year. We've gone like two years without snow, and then it snowed. And like then it snowed, and, a and John freaked out and bought and, a four-wheel drive truck. Well, I needed to anyway. Yeah, he needed a real truck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where, where's Joe Insert on here? Insert picture here. Over here. Over he, where's Joe? Over here? Yeah. Over here. That way. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's probably... That's Chris, isn't it? Oh, is that on What's my screen, that's so Joe now, Miguel. Now you, got a, now you got a real truck instead of a lifted El Camino. Because that's what you had before was just a, a lifted El Camino two wheel drive truck. Come on, man. Come it's on. It's a diesel. Well, well, the new one's a diesel, right? The old one was a diesel, too. All that diesel of the two wheels. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I will say that my my Dodge, my, my two wheel drive truck, I got 20 plus miles to the gallon in that. The fuel economy was fantastic. My new truck, the that's GMC. A the new truck, the GMC, don't tell my wife, only gets like 16. Yeah, that's about hmm. fine. Yeah. yeah, well, she's not going to be happy when she finds out. Is she going to oh, drive it? Maybe. Not regularly, and not if I can help it. She stays at home all day. You can pay for your gas. It's okay. I, I don't use gas. gas. It's diesel. What? Two door or four door? Fuel. Four. Fuel. Crew cap. Long bed? Short, Short bed? Short bed. Oh. All right. It was, so if it was a. If it was a long bit, sorry, Chris. If it was a long bit, I was gonna say you could put the, be a true uh, redneck and get that gas tank and put it in the bed of the truck. I can so that still way you, do that. You could, but then you wouldn't have a bed. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm planning on putting a canopy on it for hunting, so I have somewhere to sleep during hunting season. A canopy or a shelf? Canopy. I'm not What's sure. The Please explain the difference. I don't know. I always call them a shell. I don't call them a canopy. But I'm gonna put a cap on the back of the truck that so oh, I can okay. put a bed in the back of the truck and sleep in it when I go hunting. Whatever you want to call that thing, that's what I'm doing. Speaking of shagging wagons, it's time for the more you know with the Joker drone. <laughs> John, are you ready, buddy? <laughs> 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 yes, that's fucking awesome. Instead of shagging wagon, we should just call them schwagons. So, uh, real quick, when I was in high school, I had a 1965 Buick Special Sport Wagon. 
and the license plate was 925MLF, so 9 to 5 MILF. Loved that thing. It was beautiful. And then my brother got T-boned, and then it never ran again. <laughs> my mind went somewhere. I'm sorry. My brother got it. T-bagged. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Jason. That wasn't me. Oh, my God. Me. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right. right. It's time for the more you know with the Joker Club. So this week on the more you know, we're going over the results from our death match bracket for the Sweet 16, narrowing it down to the Elite Eight. I can do math today. Yes. You sure? Maybe. It's not over yet. It's true. All right. So we had Ghost Rider versus Darth Vader, and Ghost Rider wins. And we have Scorpion versus Spider Man. That is a Facebook poll. We had Spawn versus Thanos, and Spawn won. And Kratos kicked the shit out of Geralt. So Geralt and Spawn oh. next week. Bye, Jerry. Wait, who won between. Um... <laughs> Spider-Man? You That's said Spider-Man Facebook. and Scorpion? Yeah, Facebook poll. Yeah. Okay. Did you not put it on Facebook yet? I didn't see... No, it was, it was Spider-Man versus Silver Surfer, and no. Spider-Man won. Yeah. Now it's Spider-Man versus Sub-Zero. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The blue one, not the yellow one. My mistake. <laughs> oh, How it's Spider-Man versus <laughs> Sub-Zero. Again, first video podcast. Well, so. he he doesn't like Mortal Kombat, so it makes sense. I'm just yeah. it's because I'm not good. Fucking at it. weirdo! I'm, I'm it's a, colorblind. I'm a button masher, apparently. A reptile. <laughs> reptile wasn't even in this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so moving to the other side of the bracket, uh, we have Master Chief versus Captain America. Will be a Facebook poll. Master Chief. Maybe. And then we have Goku versus Iron Man. Goku wins. And Wolverine versus Doctor Strange. And Doctor Strange beat Wolverine. Son of a bitch! It oh, hurts sorry. my heart, but... But it was the truest thing. I mean... And then yeah, the last goes. one that we did yesterday was Thor versus Diablo. And Thor came out on top. So, next week, we will have... Ghost Rider versus either Sub Zero or Spider Man. Spawn versus Kratos. Goku versus either Captain America or Master Chief. And Doctor Strange versus Thor. And that's it for the Elite Eight. Sweet. Well, nine or ten or however many at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> elite <laughs> elite 10 right now because we have El- a vote elite tbd <laughs> all right there so goes we... that math Should i don't I know where you any... are so i'm just covering all the areas <laughs> that's uh, sweet. so that's it for this bracket you guys want to you guys have any ideas for uh our next bracket or tournament style thing maybe we can go early Otherwise, my segment's going to be really short, which that's up to you. I but still think we should come up with sidekicks and side chicks. I, I seriously awesome. think we should. I think it's awesome. Okay. I mean, and it's like everything. Everything. So, video games, movies. Yeah. Comics, everything. Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously, they have to have some kind of, I don't, I don't want to say superpower, but they something have to have to something to fight with. Something, Something to special. With. Okay. Yes. All right. Special. So, special. listeners, viewers, we got side kicks and side chicks that you would like to see in our next 64 man bracket. Or, or woman, or woman bracket. Yeah. 64 60 per. Shut up, Joe. Person. 64 man bracket. <laughs> you should ask them what they their preferred pronoun is. Yeah, John. 
<laughs> Miguel, I think you're muted because I see your mouth moving, but I'm not oh, hearing yeah, anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, I hate you all. There we go. That's what that's what she said. <laughs> I hate you all. I see your mouth moving. <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, next 64 man bracket. We side kicks versus side chicks. Send us your suggestions for who should be in, and we will figure it out and sort through them after we're done with this current bracket. It may not be 64. We may not come up with 64. Could be 30. Huh? We'll could see be... what happens. 32. Yes, Chris, 32. Yeah, 30, <laughs> or 32. 16. Or 16. Right. question. <laughs> Whatever. What? Is Winter Soldier considered uh, Captain America's sidekick, or would we go Bucky Barnes? No, I thought he was his side chick. Falcon. I think you put him as a side <laughs> chick. <laughs> you mean Fal you said Falcon wrong. Bucky Barnes was his sidekick back during the war. Wasn't he? He wasn't a hero. Well, yeah, he was. Just kidding. But is Bucky Barnes really worth anything before he became Winter Soldier? Or is he just a a, a combat vet? Or a soldier? That's it. Should he beat Rob Lowe in a fight? Yes. I think Rob Lowe would kick his ass. I'm just saying. Kick his okay. ass, Nikki. Okay. Anyway. Oh, sorry. I'm just fucking making shit up. All right. That's it for the more you know. All right. So we're going to move on down to our what the fucks for the week. Do you guys have any what the fucks this week? Yeah. And now it's time for our what the fucks. For the week. What the fuck? Whoever wants to go first, go for so, it. So, what the fuck? Uh, um, speaking of being bad at math. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> speaking of being bad at math. So, I'm buying enchiladas for my sister for my nephew's baseball team. And I had to pay for some other people's stuff so they can pay me back because she needed the money for it like yesterday so i wrote a check and i texted her and i was like okay 13 dollars a dozen four dozen i'm paying for okay 42 dollars. she's like wait isn't that 52 dollars so i had a uh had a john math moment yesterday it was kind of weird joe's scared maybe the world is ending it might be Snowpocalypse. For, for I our mean, listeners who don't know, Matt uh, Miguel is like our math genius. He's like, hey, what's this times this? Done. He knows. It's like, yeah, yeah human and calculator. I, I couldn't, especially, and, and, I couldn't get four that. times 13. It was especially weird. when yeah, it comes I would need to, a calculator for that. When it comes to money or like work hours, he's on it. <laughs> especially money owed. And calendar, too. Like calendar dates. I don't know how he does Yeah, it, he's on it. He's on it like a blue bonnet. It's he's crazy. A, he's in. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you went there. I can't believe you said blue bonnet. Oh. John, for reference, there's these things called or things. There's these things. There's these people called blue bonnets at our work who are the material handler people, and they wear blue hairnets. Yeah, and so that's a nickname for them, blue bonnet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what you refer to them as. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just context for you okay. and the listeners. But, I was kind yeah. of talking about the butter, but you know. Oh. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Um. Anyway, four times thirteen. Yeah, that was a, that was a weird thing that happened this week. Hmm. Interesting. Weird. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, Miguel. So disappointed in you right now. Son I know. Me bitch. too. <laughs> four times thirteen. Go. It, it, if you would have seen Joe's face when I said that, he was scared for his life. I was like, "Wow." <laughs> yeah. Well, you can now. Because we're recording this and putting it on I YouTube. I know, it's a video. So if you were paying attention and saw Joe's I, face. I did. I, he's he's right there. 5 times 17, go. 5 times 17, ah, that is it. Shit. 65. Oh my god, the world is ending. We're dead. We're all fucked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, see, anybody else got it? Alright, 85. Fucks? I'm like, ah, look at my 85. <laughs> <laughs> 85. Oh my uh, god. This yeah, I got a couple. Okay, John. Uh, so, uh, my wife has a 2007 GMC Acadia, and I discovered that in order to replace the headlights in her car, you have to remove the front tires. Did, did you have yeah. to replace the headlights because of a tree stump? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I did not. 
fortunately, I only had to replace the headlights because they went out. But sitting in the snow and having to remove wheels in order awesome. to take the plastic out of the inner fender to get the headlight. Really awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jenny. So yeah, my what the fuck? Who is the moron who decided this was a uh, good idea? I would like to thank this person responsible for this engineering brilliance personally. Well, yeah, you know, on that same car, what is it? What did Harvey say, Chris? Um, in order to replace the battery, you have to have continuous power to the computer, or it wipes everything. Sounds like a good way to electrocute yourself. Yeah, so didn't you have to have something on the positive so that it would keep Well, going? no, you have to have, like, you have to have a battery pack hooked up to the yep. cables mm -hmm. and then remove the battery and then replace it. So you have to keep constant power to the computer on that vehicle because um, Chris and Jackie have that. Yours is 2007? Yeah, ours is no. a 2011. Oh, never mind. Well, that's 2011. But... Where's your battery at in your car, Chris? Under the hood. Uh, in the, yeah, under the hood. Mine's not uh, under the hood. Drive, so. Under the hood, driver's side, too. Yeah. I would like the battery to... on my car, on my wife's car, is behind the passenger seat in, under the floor. What the fuck? Yeah. So, wow. again, thank you, GM, for your <laughs> piece of engineering brilliance. Oh, America. by the way, John, I have to remove the front bumper to get my headlight replaced. I actually have to take the headlight out to replace the headlights in my 2007 uh, Yukon, GMC Yukon. Oh, so GM, so, again, good yeah. job. You guys are idiots. <laughs> but I found a trick. There's a trick to get to it. I would like to just point out that John said, I love you, Jen A. I do love Jen A. <laughs> Is that your boat? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure she gets that all the time. Oh, oh she hates it. So We've talked cool. about it. We have talked about it. So I don't do it. Is that your boat, Jen A? Yeah. Is that okay. the movie you watch on your anniversary? <laughs> <laughs> I got this new movie. It's uh, about this guy that likes to run. It's a running movie. He yeah, just loves, loves running. Jenny. I just <laughs> love running. Laughs right. like a box of chocolates. <laughs> so, uh, after, what the fuck, yeah. is we, over the weekend, I, I worked Saturday and Sunday this weekend, and they ordered pizza for us on Saturday. And I went with the manager down to the pizza place to pick it up. And uh, one of the other managers had placed the order. We had So we had 50 people there we were feeding. They ordered 20 pizzas. Out of those 20 pizzas, five of them were cheese. So my what the fuck is who the fuck orders five cheese pizzas for 50 adults? I don't know. Chirp, 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 chirp. Crickets. I, Maybe we someone had a dietary restriction and they just assumed everybody had it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. You're allergic to meat? <laughs> it can take you anywhere. So we were at the we were at the pizza <laughs> place and I and they the lady went over what we were ordering and I was like, What? Who the fuck orders five John was like five year olds? I literally asked her if we were feeding five year olds and she got a little offended because she's like, Our cheese pizzas are great. And I was like Okay. So, so are you asking the question because there wasn't enough cheese or who the fuck orders cheese as an adult? Okay, so I could get, if you're feeding 50 people, maybe two cheese pizzas. Maybe. But five out of 20. What John just fuck? wanted more sausage. Absolutely. <laughs> Mushrooms on there. Sausage. Stuffed crust. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, stuff that thing with sausage. I mean, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, this is the best video <laughs> podcast ever. <laughs> I will say that Pizza Hut for a while had bacon stuffed crust, and that was yes. delicious. Oh, and hell I was not find it anymore. It was really good. <laughs> that is me for what the fucks. Okay. Anybody else? Joe? I guess it's a double what the fuck. Uh, I'm surprised John hasn't heard this, but have you heard the rumors about Russell Wilson going to the Giants? I haven't even heard that one. Yep. I don't know what websites you're on, Joe. I was watching um, 
what was I watching? ESPN this morning or Fox you, Sports. You know, they're trying to throw everyone at the Giants. Like they're trying to throw Nick Foles at the Giants, Russell Wilson now. I mean, yeah, they're, they're not, saying they're that's saying that so rumor. It's so rumor, but right yeah, now it's... speculation. Why not? What's the what's the reasoning to get rid of Russell Wilson if if he's as good as he is right? I mean, why would you get rid of the guy? Is this, is is are they hurting in cap space or what, John? They got no. rid of all the Legion of Boom. I mean, they got rid of, they got rid clean of the house. Defense. Clean house. Clean house. Start over. Okay. I mean, they're they're going to get rid of him. Send him to the the. I think what they said that the trade was going to be, um, to have Russell Wilson with Odell Beckham Jr. Because they're they're talking that Odell may may get traded. Um, so they're the talks right now because of A B and Levy and Bell. They're saying. Levy and Bell is probably either going to go to the Jets or the Ravens. Um, and Antonio Brown more than likely will probably end up in the uh, NFC. So they're saying that Green Bay is a top landing spot for him in Chicago because um, they don't want him going anywhere in the AFC. So that was that. that's what, like, it snowballed from A.B. to uh, Odell Beckham. And them talking about all the all these players being moved around. So mm. I don't know. It's just it's just all speculation and rumor. Yeah. But I just didn't know if you heard anything about it. They I have also not heard said, that yet. They said there's a possibility that that the Seahawks might even get Antonio Brown. So did that, you would, guys, that would suck. Did Doug you Baldwin, Antonio him? Brown, yeah, Russell Wilson. <laughs> and you got what? Tyler Lock, Chris Carson is a running back, so yeah, it would be a nasty grouping, that's for sure. Yeah. But Did you guys they see were just that the AAF uh, sold, had to sell to. I, I saw something. Yeah, that was that was my other what the fuck. Oh, sorry, Joe. Go ahead. So they they had to sell the AAF. It's not like done, like they're not shutting it down, but they had to sell the AAF because the original owners couldn't afford to pay their players. <laughs> what? It yeah, literally so of, just what? started. Yeah, so a lot of players didn't even get their first game check because the owners couldn't afford it. Wow. So they ended up the ratings, it. though. I That's know, crazy. I know. But the the they sold it to the owner of the Tampa Bay Lightning hockey team, so he oh. now owns it. So, the whole but anyway, league. the whole league they hmm. sold it for like I don't know some ungodly number. But uh, now they can afford their players, and that rolls into my next what the fuck. Colin Kaepernick <laughs> was offered a job at the AAF, a football job, which he hasn't played since God knows who win or against whatever. He hasn't played. In it's a been long a time. long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They offered him a job, and he comes back and he says, I want $20 million in a, I would call it a minor league football league. Yeah, where I saw the article uh, where most players get paid seventy five thousand a year, seventy five thousand, and he's not like, even a million. million. Yeah, and yeah. yeah, so go fuck yourself, Colin Kaepernick, and I hope you never get signed. So whatever. Well, he also just settled with the NFL, so he has yeah. money. He yeah he, yeah oh oh oh, it was a non disclosure agreement, but somehow somebody found out that it was like forty point two five million that he that he uh, agreed to. Oh, I him, saw. Oh. I saw upwards to eighty million or something like that. I didn't even see that. Jeez. I saw I saw forty, and then Eric Reed, they both settled, so they've got that money in the bank. So he doesn't have to play for another year or two. And then they're saying that the Patriots, up, <laughs> the Patriots may pick up Colin Kaepernick, and I'm like, I hope they do, so he can fucking suck, or. <laughs> he could take him to another Super Bowl, and that proves that Tom Brady's not the GOAT. Joe Ebel. <laughs> any, any quarterback can work in that system. Even Colin Kaepernick. Tim Tebow. <laughs> let me just let me just get Joe off of this real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's just how you uh, rain on his date right there and just make him stop whatever he's doing. Yeah. I'm done. That's my work clips. Okay. Am I the last one? Yeah. Nobody cares. 
Yeah, I don't have any, so that's oh, good. good. Sweet. So we're going to move on down to our uh, main topic this week, if we have any. What what main topic were we talking about this week? Crackdown. Far crackdown? Yeah, we're going to talk about Crackdown, Far Cry, New Dawn. Okay. And then, uh, isn't there another the game on our list? What was the other beta? Oh, I played Black Desert, so. Oh. We played Division beta. Yeah, we played Joe, Division oh, beta. Yeah. Joe, Joe played Division beta. I played it for like a couple minutes, and I don't, I don't think my computer could handle it in 4K, because that's what I had it on. And All right. so I didn't play too much. Let's let's touch on division I first. So John and Joe talk about division for a little bit, and then we'll move on from there. That's not fair, Joe. You can't do that and not edit yourself doing that. Well, I, okay, I'm gonna I want to edit. <laughs> do I'm the utters. utters. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna just say that playing the division two beta. God damn, I missed that game. I'm just I love it. I going back to it, going back to the environment, how it played. It's it's not like a, a continuation or it feels like it's just a new skin. You you can see the improvements. You feel the improvements. The controller, the controls are improved um, and how they how they allow you to customize things. It's I like it. I love it. I missed it. And I can't wait. I honestly cannot wait for it. Nice. And now. I would love to hear from John, who didn't get extreme amounts of exposure to Division 1, like we did. What would you like to hear? What are your thoughts on Division 2? I'm looking forward to playing it. I liked it. it I mean, I only played Division 1, I don't even know, not that much. Yeah. Because every time I was playing, I'd be like, man, it's kind of boring playing by myself. You guys would jump in with me. And then I was like level 10 and you guys were max level or whatever that was. And so everybody we were fighting was split between us. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine yeah. him playing with MIG. Yeah. So. Oh my God. Yeah. They go Spartan. and destroy everybody. <laughs> One, somebody gets a shot on me. I'm dead instantly. And then they run around and then they pick me up and I don't get to do anything. So I'm excited uh, for Division 2. For me to level up with you guys and not be the dead guy in the back that you guys have to go get when you're done beating the enemy. <sighs> Anthem or Division 2? I also plan on getting Division 2 on both my PC and my Xbox. Uh, I feel like Anthem is going to be like a two-week thing and then it's never going to be touched because Division's coming out. So that's why I'm like, I don't know if I want to get it. You have I to know. I know I do. It hurts. I'm waiting on Anthem right now. Shut up, John. I'm not playing it yet. <laughs> yet. Miguel, right, you might get it. Anthem. Miguel, you I, might get I, it. Just say it's the most amazing game in the world. You never know. What, I'm, Anthem? Yeah. I'm planning on getting it, but yeah, I didn't why have not? to pay for the title and taxes and shit for my truck out of pocket. I, which I will means... admit that Anthem is a bigger gamble because we know Division. We know the history of Division. We know Ubisoft. Um, and Division 1 was... Awesome, fabulous, mm-hmm. and it, it just fell flat because once you once you capped, then it was just like meh. It's meh. more of the the end game was kind of shitty in at yeah. the beginning. The end but, game uh, from, they didn't work on it, and they've already that, shown the end game for two. Yeah. But right. they they've already said that the the that was the main concern that they had for Division Two was the end game to make sure that there was more than enough content. And that's why there's three dark zones, three, not one, three. How many? I mean, technically, there one, were five two, dark zones in the other one because they were all different level dark zones. But <laughs> technically, technically, but um, mm-hmm. with the with the uh, leveling system and the upgrades that they have for the armor, and um, it's just it's all in all better game. It looks looks fabulous. It looks beautiful. I Sweet. enjoyed it. It was fun. And you remember on the first one how you couldn't climb up the ropes? Oh yeah. Well, I don't remember but, that. But. You can climb up the ropes in Division yeah. Two. So oh boy! The ropes were only, I, I, if I'm correct, they were only you can only uh, repel down them. Yes, now you're you correct. Can actually, you can actually go up them. So you can scale up the rope how, now. How was that again, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move on down. Um, you guys have anything else for Division Two, right now? No. Uh, we're gonna move on to Far Cry, Miguel. John, how's it? Miguel and John, right? Or John's was it first. just John? He didn't play that much. Okay. He didn't play right. that much. So, 
John, go first. Uh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. And I got my new graphics card, so it's even more beautiful than Far Cry 5 was. Um, as long as you're not downloading something. Yeah, I had to uh, pause. The, what was I downloading? I don't even remember. You were downloading... Or... No. Mm, no. Oh, no, you were playing Overwatch and you were downloading Far Cry. That's right. That's, That's right. Um, so, yeah, no, it's beautiful. Uh, I'm not quite used to my new graphics card yet. It's kind of nauseating how clear it is and how quickly I can turn. So I found that in Overwatch and uh, mm. on Far Cry. But Far Cry is beautiful. Sweet. So you think and it's beautiful? I enjoyed it. And fuck the giant fish. Mm. There's a giant fish? So it's it's post-apocalyptic. Um, I'm pretty sure all of the animals have been affected by the nuclear yeah. fallout in some way. Like the oh. the deer and everything, their antlers are pink or different colors. The and have like a yellow tone to them. Yeah. And then the uh, the fish, if you try and swim across the lake, uh, there are giant fish who attack you. So it's like but an I, Ubisoft Fallout. Yeah, it's supposed to be apocalyptic. Yeah. But, I haven't seen I mean, anything with more than one head yet, so... But I mean, it's beautiful landscape. It's not like a wasteland, like... Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, like all the life is, there. yeah, there's life in everything. All the animals are norm. They're They're not mutated. They're just, like, adapted or something to the uh, radiation. Mm. I will say that uh, it seems ridiculous how much, how many bullets it takes to kill somebody. So, like, if you shoot them with the saw gun, they it take it's two hundred hit points, right, Miguel? Mm, mm. Four. Well, my saw gun's four. Yours might be two. Yeah. So, on a normal person, not anybody who's like a higher ranking person, that'll take them out. But I have a like a rusty AR, basically. And you shoot them, and you have to shoot them like seven, eight times before they die. Well, it's it's that gun that if you go into the weaponsmith and look at the actual damage, because it tells you the damage that the gun's going to do, those guns suck. Yeah, but you're getting shot seven or eight times before you die, before you even go to the ground. I mean, come on. But I mean, you did jump into my game, so I do have more powerful weapons, so. Yeah, but. That's not my point. My point is, it shouldn't take seven or eight shots to kill this anybody. This just in. John hates the Division 2. What? Oh, yeah, you're not going yeah. to. Yeah. If you're bitching about that. Well, I mean, going from Far Cry 5, where, and then now having New Dawn, it just seems like they're adding an RPG element to it, like the Division, where it's going to take, it has hit points and you got to, like, wear them down. Whereas Far Cry 5, you didn't have that. It was just like a headshot done, you know. But now, I don't know why they would add that element into the game. So the enemy actually has hit points now. It's yeah. Kind of you can watch their health bar go down <laughs> the fuck? as you shoot them. Yeah. So well, a new... I want to say they had a health bar in 5. I mean, it wasn't like, it didn't pop up when you shot them like it does now, but. Hmm. Interesting. Um, I do like that when you capture an enemy area... You can loot it, or what do they call it, Miguel? It was sca- uh, uh, scavenge. Salvage. Was salvage. Scavenge or salvage? It's something like that. It's one of those two. Basically, you take all of the resources from it, but then you walk away from it, and then the enemy can take it back over, and then they're more strong. They're stronger. So they, they have a better alarm. They come back stronger, and they're more prepared for you. So then you can take it again, and you can, and it's got st- a star system. So I like that. Was, I thought it was pretty. That was pretty cool. You could just so, come back and keep getting. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Anything else on New Dawn? Oh, well, from John, anything else? From John. Uh, not right now. I'm trying to remember. Okay. okay. So, um, it's fun to get back into Far Cry, don't get me wrong. Um, there's a lot of things that I don't really care for in this game. So... You, Joe, you know the size of the Far Cry 5 map, right? It's the same exact... It's the same map, except it drops you in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, gives you a couple missions, and then 
the basic aspect of what you're doing in Far Cry New Dawn is you're upgrading the civilization that you're at. So you have to get resources to upgrade uh, your weapon bench and your health bench and your explosives bench and your cars and everything. So you have to upgrade them. Um, to upgrade them, you need fuel as resources. Ethanol? Ethanol? No. Yeah. Yeah. Is it ethanol? Yeah. Okay, so you have to obtain that, and that's where those uh, outposts come into play and that whole scavenge system. So you have to go to the outposts, and you have to scavenge them for fuel and take it back to upgrade. But the other aspect of upgrading is you have to get specialists to basically join you. And the specialists are like the black chick that was the sniper from Far Cry 5. She's still alive. She's blind. She not a sniper anymore you have to get her you have to get herc back to your specialists and the specialists are all throughout the map mm -hmm. so you have to go clear across the map to go get somebody granted you don't have to take them back you just have to go and do a mission to recruit them but there's like no real story missions unless you go back and upgrade so it's open world sandbox but that's not what i personally want from a far cry game i want to do missions that progress the story I want to know what's going on in the story. I did a couple missions and then it's like, okay, well now you have to upgrade. So then I go on, go retreat, go recruit people, go get supplies. And so it's just doing all this stuff in the world. And then I go back and I have a story mission. And then now I'm back at that point again, I don't have a story mission. So I am getting specialists and oh, my phone's ringing. getting specialists and I'm going and, doing the same grind to get through the story so don't get me wrong it is a beautiful game it is awesome seeing like the same landmarks that you saw before in a different setting mm -hmm. where they're destroyed and everything it's a beautiful game but I, I have to ask john my question is are you working with the father i know you hated him for fallout 5 John hasn't really played. I haven't <laughs> played far enough to know that. Because I know that I know the previews kind of teased that you would be working with him now, and so I trying I to kill him. Hear, yes. I did hear NPCs okay. saying that the only way that we can beat the highwaymen is to go and see the father because he all their people are the only ones equipped to defeat them. So I heard we, an NPC say that. We did have the opportunity to explore the shelter that the protagonist and the father were held up in. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was interesting. Yeah. Read but a bunch yeah. of notes. But yeah, you're going use condoms and stuff. A lot of uh, butt lube and stuff. Oh God. <sighs> but yeah, you're going to go uh, work with the father. Okay. And there I hope I is, get to shoot him. There is a great, <laughs> there's a great monologue by the twins in the beginning of the game. Um, not nearly as great as uh, Vaz's monologue, but they talk about, are you a problem? maker or are you problem solver so they're trying okay. to huh. they're trying to get back to that uh, aspect of in-depth villains even though you don't see them that often as far as i've gotten or i haven't gotten very far but i mean i may have who knows but they're they're trying to have some good development in their antagonists cool and then the only other thing that drove me nuts about this game is the npcs yell for fucking everything and it's annoying and then you know how you can have your support person who follows you around you command them around the first one you get is actually the spoiler alert well probably not she's a daughter of someone that you met before and like she yells for everything they're coming right for us it's annoying as hell i had to take her off now i just rock the dog <laughs> Um, I really enjoyed our uh, interaction with Herc. Yeah, that was fun. It, it was it was cool seeing the people that were in the previous game, just in a different setting, and uh, his interaction with you is funny. He's because he, he's like, I feel like we've done this before, just yeah. <laughs> years ago, and it's like we're stuck in some wheel of the same thing happening over and over. And I, do you get that feeling? I get that. Feeling. <laughs> yeah. It was fun. I so they kind of play on obvious stuff, so yeah. Cool. Cool. 
All right, so we're going to move on down to Crackdown 3, and Joe had the experience to play this game, and he has beaten it. So, Joe, yep, John. how is Crackdown 3, buddy? Okay, when I first started, I was all for it. I was like, yes, this is what I've been wanting to play for a while. Um, but then I got towards the end, and I noticed that it was disappointed. I was disappointed because it's so easy to get to the end of the game. So if you were to, like, you know, if you were to, like, trace or graph, if you want to, like, your progression and the difficulty, you know, they're kind of, like, hand in hand, and then you get to a certain point where the difficulty just levels off, and your progression just keeps going. And at that point, that's when the game is just like, Meh. Mm. you know, when you first start out, you know, first off, Terry Crews is awesome in the game, and he's fucking hilarious. The sound bites and you know, like you're scaling up buildings and he's like, fuck gravity, you know, and, and, <laughs> you know, you pick up a gun. And he's like, oh, hell yeah. Just just his his little sound bites. And yeah. um, they give you a choice to pick, like, I think, like four, four characters in the beginning, five or six characters. And then why wouldn't you pick Terry Crews? I mean, he's like the staple of the game. And why would you pick anybody else? And it's like, I'm going to pick Terry Crews because that's why I want to play Crackdown 3 is for Terry Crews. He's not, whatever. I, I picked the bald guy with the big beard. Okay. I played as Terry Crews and I enjoyed I the hell out of the game. Um, until up until that point. Um, so there's, there's a, uh, I don't know, kind of like a, it reminds me of Shadow of War, where you have like lieutenants and then you have ca uh, captains and then you have like the main boss. Mm -hmm. So you take, you can, you can go straight for the, the main boss, like they've, like they've announced since E3, if you choose to, but it's super hard, super difficult, especially if you, your agility level isn't up. Um, so of course, you know, being cracked down, the first thing I want to do is collect all the orbs on the map. I didn't. There's so many fucking orbs and they're all, they're not obvious like they were in the previous crackdowns. Like you could see them like across the map. You could see, oh, it's glowing. I'm going to go over there. They're hidden. Um, there's like 250 hidden orbs. So you still have to find those. Those don't give off the green glow. They give off a blue glow. Um, but anyway, if you do that, then you can go for the main boss and you basically beat the game if you choose to. Um, the one dis downside, the disappointment, I know they have it in multiplayer, but I was expecting a destructible environment in the single player. Because that was like the biggest thing where they advertise at E3, like, oh, the environment's totally destructible and blah, blah, blah. But you have to play multiplayer to do that, to have yeah. the environment like destructible. They missed and, out the only in multiplayer. Yeah. And I'm just like, come on. You know, I get a rocket launcher and I'm shooting the buildings. Nothing happens disappointed um it's a fun game yeah whatever it's a fun game but it's a nice jumping back into the crackdown genre or the crackdown game but you you reach a certain point like once you pretty much are ready to fight the main boss you become op and it's like it's not even a challenge the, there's it's more challenging to get the orbs and to do they have these towers that you have to um jump to the top and hack kind of like, Oh, I don't know. Horizon zero dawn. Um, you, so you have to like, it's like a puzzle to get to the top and you have to like jump a certain distance or, you know, jump up and whatever you do some tricks to get to the top. Those have more challenge than the actual in boss do. I mean, it's like, yeah. If, if you love just shooting people and you love cannon fodder, blowing a ton of people up, play far uh, crackdown. Sorry. Just play it. That's, that's my thought. Okay. Cool. I think that's wrapping up. Did we have one more? I we played Black one Desert. More. That's it? Oh, Black Desert. Do you want to chime on that real quick, or is that even worth it? I I enjoyed the hell out of it. I played Final Fantasy XIV. Um, was okay with it. Black Desert? I like. I like it a lot. I like the, the combat system. It's an RPG still, but... Um, it's not like, uh, what is it, turn-based. It's not turn-based, kind of like Knights of the Old Republic or you It's know, like Final Devil Fantasy. May Cry, right? Fighting it's, style. 
kind like of a, like a fast action. It is action RPG. So, you know, you you're hitting and they still have like elemental damage and they still have hit bars and stuff. But the character design and the game creation, it looks beautiful on the Xbox One X because it's 4K HDR enhanced. It looks awesome. And there were a ton of people playing. I never had an issue with running, not running into anybody or, you know, not interacting with people. Um, I'm looking forward to playing the game. So I've been playing the beta. I played it, what, twice now? And this was the open beta. And I, I really like it. I really like it. Or if you Sweet. like RPGs, play it. Cool. Sweet. Nice. All right, so we're going to move on down to our rando shit um, to end out this podcast. Uh, who has rando shit this week? John. What's up, John? What do you got? I bought a new truck. Yay. We already talked about that, but that was on my list of rando. So uh, I got my new graphics card installed, so I've been playing more games on my PC. And like I said, it makes me a little nauseous because I'm not used to how clear it is yet. Sissy. Uh, what card did you get? I, you may have said what you got, but what did you get, John? Say, graphics card. Oh, graphics uh, card. it's a EVGA 1070 Super Clocked. Cool. Nice. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, I like it. I'm running Overwatch at about 90 frames per second on average. Damn, which is cool. way better than the 30 that it was with my integrated graphics card on my processor. On like oh my settings. God. Yeah, on low. Yeah. Um, also, uh, I've been watching this other YouTuber. His name is Ragtag. Most of the time he plays Overwatch, but he started playing some other games. He is hilarious. You guys should check him out. He does uh, uh, toxic coaching, so people who play will send him videos of their gameplay and he will tell them what they're doing wrong. He's Scottish. Um, it's, dude, it's, it's hilarious. You got to check him out. It's, okay. it's pretty funny. And then he, then he does, um, he calls forum criers. I don't know what forum he's using. I think it's the blizzard forums. People will bitch about overwatch and then he'll read them in different accents. Um, and then give his thoughts. This dude's he's funny. So he used to be a firefighter in Scotland as um and an opera singer apparently. I've been trying to find more information about him, but apparently he used to be an opera singer. Stop and now him. Yeah. Well, whatever. He's exactly. Funny. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he's funny. Um and now he, he had a uh a neurological disease, so he can't be a firefighter anymore. So now his full time job is YouTubing and playing video games. So check him out. He's pretty entertaining. That's it. Sweet. Anybody else have rando? Yeah, Joe. What's up? Um, started watching Umbrella Academy. Mm-hmm. Eh. 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 Sucks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mediocre. It, it's 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 like by the time it, they spend all season, it's about these kids that are adopted, and all these kids have powers. So it's kind of like a dysfunctional X-Men. Um, mm. But it takes them, I'd say, eight episodes, seven or eight episodes for them to finally like start to team up. And it's just kind of like, I'm at the point now where I'm just watching it because I want to see how it ends. Or if there's, I hope there's not another season. But I, I don't see what all the hoopla is about it. Everybody that's like, oh, it's so amazing. It's so awesome. Oh, it's like this idea has been done already. It's just like a parody of the X-Men and the characters. It's like R-rated X-Men. So I was like, eh, I've seen it before. And it's like big whoop. Eh, not not impressed. So okay. I would pass. Pass. Okay. Anything else, Joe? No. no. Miguel, what's going on, buddy? Nothing, huh? I got nothing. Just a slow week. Yeah, it's been a slow week for all of us. Uh, Overwatch type of week, you know. Yeah. Lots oh, of Overwatch. Yeah. I, we we got destroyed repeatedly a couple nights ago, and it was ridiculous. And I don't think it was our fault. Oh man. I, I blame John's friends. Just kidding. No, oh, no, it was Eric's fault. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, well I think I mean, platinum platinum one in the group. So. Yep. So is it really his fault that he's? Better than we are. 
Mm, yeah. no. Or is it our fault that we're not as good as he is? It's your fault. Yeah. I I, I don't like either of those choices. Oh, I like him. I, like I, I just what? I just feel like we were both doing our part and we just got destroyed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I had what fifty six e limbs is Moira. We still lost. Yeah, it was it was hours of just losing repeatedly. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. I was at like twenty four something SR and now I'm at twenty two. So I lost two hundred SR. But these guys don't care about Overwatch, so let's no. let's move along. Okay. I, I do I do have another rando, I'm sorry. I was gonna read mm-hmm. a uh, email from Nick. So he, he sent us an email, the title was Jesus Boys Come On. So <laughs> He was listening to the podcast, and the current MLS champion, which is Major League Soccer, uh, is Atlanta United, which plays at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and at a lot of those games are not on Sunday. So we were arguing about why would you put a Chick-fil-A in there. Oh, I, um, I did point out reasons, yeah. Uh, and they sell out the stadium every game. So, you're not, but maybe. you're not putting enough fabulous into your voice right now. Sorry. This is anyway. America. What soccer? Yeah. yeah. Well, I said soccer. I didn't say football. Yeah. That's what everybody else calls it. Um, so that's a big reason why Chick Fil A is there. More than just shitty football, Jesus boys, there are more sports than just football. False. But but not more good sports. Bingo. Nailed it. Well, yeah, he's he's not like he's not lying. There are more sports than football, mm-hmm. but there aren't any greater sports. Yeah, football. There, there are no sports that matter other than football. Amen. Amen, John. Hallelujah. So oh, we yes. just agreed on something unanimously. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> hey. <Dang>. All right. <laughs> um, <team>. Fuck you guys. <laughs> now, which team? Now we'll never agree on that. No, no, no. 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 We'll, just, we'll no. agree on no. football, but the teams. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Well, I After think that. I think John and I can agree that the Cardinals suck. This is true. That is fact, ride, not ride, opinion. Ride the wagon. Ride the wagon. Wait till next year. We'll see oh, what happens. He, those hot shots, though, they're they're good. The hot maybe shots we'll, are good. Speaking of we'll hot shots, some. the next paragraph, he says that also Steve Spurrier is a coach in the AAF. Um, you should look at the list of coaches and GMs in that league. No names are everywhere in each team. Um, and he says that it seems like y'all forgot about NFL Europe. Pretty much being a minor league for the NFL. What is that? There's an NFL Europe. There is an NFL Europe, but See, it's not league. it's it's not prime time. It's not televised. They they may have had it a few times on like one of the Fox Sports. I don't remember, but it was on something on one of the channels a long time ago. But it's not it's not mainstream. It's not on CBS. It's not on ABC. It's not on ESPN. It's not on NFL Network. It doesn't count. I was talking about AF being bringing football. On TV after the Super Bowl. So, if I have to go onto a web browser to stream a Europe football, it's not even worth watching because I'm not going to watch it on my cable. So that it's not even there. Or, I, or even what? I did see a great meme that the XFL should play the AAF with their two best teams, and the winner of that game should play the worst team from the NFL, and then if and they then beat them, swap. yeah, yeah. I did oh, see great. that. Too. The Cardinals Absolutely. are going to get <laughs> Yeah, the Cardinals are going to be demoted that to the AEF. <laughs> would be amazing. That would be I would, amazing. I would pay to see that. Oh. Yeah. Um, it says, sure, it's gone because it was kind of shitty and no one watched it stateside, but it was there. Eh, okay. Um, last paragraph says, there's also the Steam link to be able to play games on different rooms of, off your Steam account. Family can uh, be playing on console. And you can be in the bedroom playing a Steam game from a computer in a different room. Works well for me since my computer is hooked to my main TV and I can stream toy. This is what it says. I can stream toy other TV in my bedroom. So I'm I'm assuming it says to my other TV in my bedroom. What is this in response to? What did we say? Um, Because we were talking about Xbox. and We were talking about playing um, titles on like having the same account but playing on different TVs. It, we, were, we were talking about the wave of the future, how uh, Xbox is going into streaming and that sort of stuff. Remember that? It was like two weeks ago. We talked a lot about football. We talked a lot about the AAF. 
but we did talk about the streaming and the future of how the gaming is going towards. And like I said, I was afraid of all that. You guys were talking me into the streaming, all that good shit, if you remember that. Yeah. So that was just a response to our last podcast. Okay. I just wasn't sure how. <laughs> I, I thought it was something like we were bashing on Steam or something or PC or. No, no, no. It was, no. No, it was the whole Xbox Live and Nintendo teaming up, um, you know, and what the future would hold. That's it. Yeah. Cool. Um, I do have announcements for the podcast. Um, one, we are now official affiliates of Loot Crate. Um, so if you want to order or subscribe to Loot Crate, go on down to www.consoledrones.com. Um, on the bottom right hand corner, there's Amazon and Loot Crate. We are affiliates of Amazon. Um, <laughs> and these, everybody loves it. It's amazing. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> um, but yes, we are affiliates of Amazon and Loot Crate. So anytime you want to support the podcast, Go ahead. And, I can't fucking talk with you guys doing this shit. <laughs> just You're welcome. Just support, just support the podcast. Uh, um, go on down to our website, and if you're going to purchase anything on Amazon, just do us the favor. I know it's easier for you to go onto your app and go to Amazon and sign in and do all that, but if you want to support our podcast, the best way to do it is go onto our website, go all the way down to the very bottom of the page, and right-hand corner of the page, there's Amazon. Hold on, guys. Okay, there you go. Almost had it. Um, but go to our page and just click on the link. Click on the Amazon link. Sign into your Amazon account. This helps support the podcast. <clears throat> that that little motion that you did supports us, saying that you're a fan of us. So if you do that, that would we would greatly appreciate it. You guys want to add anything to that? Yeah, by by this by us being supported. Sorry, John. Uh, by go us ahead. being supported. Um, it allows us to, to have more giveaways, more contests, more tournaments, um, more free shit to give away for everybody. Um, that's it. And T-shirts, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate the giveaway. Yeah. Um, so I told some coworkers about this, uh, the Amazon thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had a, uh, a proposition from one of my coworkers. Okay. And he said that he would start using the... Uh, icon on our website to buy Amazon shit. Uh, if, if, and this will give away who it is, if Joe Finley <laughs> admits that Tom Brady is the GOAT. So Joe. we just lost a customer. So, <laughs> no! Tom Brady's not the GOAT! Hashtag not worth it. <laughs> no. Oh my god. No. 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 Yeah. I told him. Kudos, kudos to you, Joe, for not selling your soul. No, no, no. So he, when I when I told him and he's like, I'll do it, but you know what Joe has to do, like, you know. And I was like, No, that's never gonna happen. He didn't even say it, but yeah, it'll never happen. Never. He was like, He does buy a lot of Amazon stuff though, Joe. Oh well. Yeah. I'll say it's it for you, Brady Joe. I'll, I'll say it for you, Joe. If, you know, if that helps. I already said it a million times. Doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris, you say it, and Joe, you just move your mouth, and we'll just. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's time it. <laughs> He'll All never right, know. Ready? Ready? He'll never Go. know. On three. Ready? One, two, three. Tom. <laughs> He said it. He said it. He said Tom Brady is the goat. Yeah. (laughs) All right. So that's pretty much my rando shit. Was just (laughs) that's pretty much my rando shit this week. Is just talking about uh, becoming affiliates of Amazon and Loot Crate. I think it's a great achievement for us, and I hope the listeners um, support us. And and really, it's super easy. Go ahead, Joe. And then the, the Loot Crate items as well. If we do participate in Loot Crate. Um, like the stuff that we don't want, we'll add in, you know, giveaways and, and packages and shit like that. So we can, you know, nobody wants, uh, Cardinals fuzzy socks. So who knows? You may get Cardinals fuzzy socks if you're a Cardinals fan. So, uh, I'm sorry. I already took those. I'm wearing them right now. <sighs> Prove it. No, uh, please don't. <laughs> Hold on. You don't want to see those. I don't want to see them. Mind. They're right here, dude. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, because you're clearly okay. wearing them. I just took it off. I just went took it off, man. I'm not going to stick my foot all the way I'm up in my... take them off. Uh, yeah, he didn't say where he <laughs> took them off of. He just took them off. No, I don't want to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. I took it off this Pringles can that oh. I had. <laughs> all right. Uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. This has been a lovely video podcast episode. We are now doing this because we said we were doing it. So uh, Miguel is saying thumbs up right there. Yes, he is. Um, and this is going to wrap up episode number 117. This is Chris. I'm going to go play some video games, maybe Tetris 9, actually Tetris 99. I'm playing Tetris 99. Best game in the world. Love it. It's a great game. I'm going to get us. This is who? You were still talking, so I stopped. Oh, thanks, man. Since when do you not Shut mind up, cutting them off? <laughs> this is Joker Drone, John. I'm going to go clean the shit off my son's boots, and then I'll probably play a video game. Not sure which one yet. The snow. This is Demonic. I- I'm going to go eat and go probably play Overwatch <laughs> with John on PC. <laughs> this Maybe. is Deuce. Yeah, this is Deuce, aka Joe, whatever. Drop the deuce. Um, I gotta edit. That's what I'll be doing. Me too. Game, Game on. on. Game on. Game on. <laughs>